This is the sad part of the flight every time. Where I see her take her headset off. And then she crawls in the back to not be seen again for hours. She will enter slumberland. And just like that, I'm all by myself. Now I have to pay attention to air traffic. <sighs> Laid back with her book, blanket, pillows. So oh, babe, how was your nap? I did not nap. Just fall asleep. Wah, wah. Number 9, Australia Radar contact about uh, one more miles east of the downtown airport. Uh, you're cleared to uh, Juliet Whiskey Airport via direct. I'm a fan of this part of Missouri. Level 25010 zero minutes after. Pretty cool. Airport. All right, cleared to John Tune via direct uh, out of 5,000 now for 115,000. We ain't got time for that, babe. SJWN. I'll see Jax, thank you. Yeah. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. And then some. such. We're an hour and 57 minutes. We have gone from when we started with 155 knot ground speed. So we're nine, Papa Charlie, kind of Kansas City Center, 128.35. Now we have 180 knot ground speed. Oh, now we're cooking. Yeah, so now it's time to start looking what if we climb? And according to the folks at or flight. We have a nine knot tailwind, which not exactly, but it's an average. We will have at some point here. But going up to 8,000 turns the tailwind into a two knot headwind. So we're going to stick it right here at 6,500, although we're at 64, but we're correcting back. Nice thing about VFR. I'll be an IFR fool with my sweet autopilot when all you do is program it, let it do its thing. Be a lot easier. That's gonna be so nice. Oh my God, it's gonna be mind blowing. It's gonna absolutely change every bit of this airplane. I think it's gonna be a mini airliner. All right, so we got Kansas City to talk to us. So I was talking about safety things in the cockpit there. So I showed the pulse ox. And here I have this. It's just our CO2 detector. Um, so it works really well. Over here, tang of my contact. Okay, Probably. approach 124.2. They got these for... Eagle Med 29 contact. Single engine or twin engine. In a single engine airplane, the heat Water ski 4679 comes from Center, 1, the 3, exhaust 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, stack. There's an air shroud that funnels 3, 3, 3, 3, the air around the exhaust to warm the air up and puts it in here. Juliet, 128, climb in 150. So there's been a lot of people get sick and or killed by a crack in the exhaust and then breathing in the noxious fumes. Um, so we have a combustion heater which is separate. So I still have one of these. And it works great when we were taxiing out. You guys might have heard me, or I don't know if I'll edit it out or not, but when I turned where the wind was blowing the heater exhaust into the plane, it went off several times. And so this particular one lights up, vibrates, and makes a noise. So it lets you know, hey, you need to do something. Um, I was flying a Piper Lance one time in Georgia, and it had a camera hole cut out for aerial mapping. And the hole went away, the exhaust stack had baked off and I would kill the, the extension, uh, and it was pumping it straight to the cabin. I had one of those old school circles that changed color. And had I not noticed that, this one at least will yell at you and shake and do all that. Had I not noticed that, I may have been a statistic as well. So that's what we got for safety. And then we also have a fire extinguisher right here in between our two seats. Hey, just for a heads up to this corner of Arkansas right here, there was a forecast for some uh, light turbulence at 6,000 feet.
just as we passed that corner of Arkansas, and then as we continue on, it was supposed to dissipate. I call BS. Yeah. Maybe. Our one Bravo Charlie contact, Razorback approach, 126.6, 26.6. Love your video. Say hi to Jamie from all of us. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, 26.6, and thank you very much. She's sitting in the back. Uh, she was taking a nap, so uh, she just heard you guys, and thank you very much. We'll see you. And see, that's why you're supposed to be up front. That way you can talk to people. You can talk to your fans. 4761, Kansas City Center, When I asked you for my headset, I kind of thought you were going to leave it. Well, there's no way. Well, I guess I can't press the button anyway. It's so too far away. Yeah. Razor back approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's with you, 6,500. Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Razor back, Bill Timmers 3067. 3067, 1BC. So we're talking to Memphis Center now. And they issue traffic on this Baron who's 10 o'clock, 10 miles, 500 feet below us, converging on us. Yeah. And I said searching. And I think it was the Baron. He just keyed up and said, Looks like we're going to be on YouTube now. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have ADS-B because, um, you know, I'm just not picking him up. All right, I have to break this thing up. Me and this dude are someone on a beeline. Interception. Heading. Lower number 76 Fox out Charlie, contact Fort Worth Center. Uh, I just don't think he's quick enough. Oh, We're no, doing 192. I'll have you know, Baron Fred. He's in sight right there. No more 10. More, more. Oh, yeah, I see yeah, him. Yeah. One Bravo Charlie has the Baron in sight. You going to start talking? One Bravo Charlie, right yeah. there. Yeah. A178 hey, Romeo, Memphis Center, Roger. The uh, rest of the Got my eagle eyes back, babe. Oh, I know. Good job. Traffic, 10 o'clock, low, two I love miles. her. I love you, airplane. That sucks that you can not see, like, any... 7101 November, out the window. traffic, uh, 2 to 3 o'clock and yeah. 2 miles southwest bound. VFR 6500, uh, yeah. Cessna 310 has you in sight. Still no joy for 01 November, but we are looking. Really? It's just because the 310 is so much faster than the Baron. Oh, boy. Good be. We have you tight now. Still, so whatever. That's a pretty plane. Uh, we were wired for so long. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, we need an external camera. Once I get an external camera. Charlie X3, uh, did you get that Mina weather? That's so hey, cool to see the out the window. Oh, I know. Uh, you, you, you can expect the visual approach in uh, exit 7,000. He's just relaxing and flying. Zero, Charlie, extra, Ray, and we'll expect the visual. He had a, he had a little crab going on. 7101 November contact, uh, Tulsa approach, 124.0. Endeavor, 5321, Memphis Center, climb, maintain, follow, will 230. I see how much stuff I can do before you yell at me. Not much to the yoke. <laughs> the, the yoke will get you yelled at pretty quick. <laughs> like a little kid, like testing things. I keep like moving it and then like looking at you and like I'll move it somewhere else and I'll look at you. <laughs> yelled at me, ready to yell at me yet? That's I'm like, why is it looking for something to hook it up? There's nothing. I can't. I don't know. What's this over here? Oh well. You know what we could do here, babe? We could land, and we could go right down into that river, and we could do some noodling. Uh, that's a hard pass. Our... Throw on some bait suits, yes. jump in the river, stick our arm in a nice deep hole, and see if we can get a catfish to latch onto it. Pull it out. Grab onto the inside of them, pull them out, noodling. I just, I just don't think that's something I'm ever going to do. I don't even think that's something you're ever going to do. You don't say never, because that, that you know, doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whenever we pull a catfish out of the pond and you go to, like, grab for it or whatever, 
That's because you're, you're driving it from the back. You're you have to make traumatized sure. from when it, you, you got stuck with the bar before. I'm not traumatized. I'm just very careful because I still have a scar. I don't know if you can even see it on the camera there. But that right there is where the spine went all the way, all the way in. He got me. Stupid catfish. Told him it was boss though. Ate him up good. Your parents love me. I think they probably tell me that they love me more than they tell you that they love me. Probably. Doing a little heat lesson? Okay. This is the heat's on off switch. The red. Okay. Up goes to heat where it says heat. Down says fan. <clears throat> so if you just want the recirculating air fan to blow, just blow air. Anyway, you're never going to do fan. You do fan on the ground. In the air, the fan doesn't work. So on the ground, if you just want to circulate there, you can use the fan if it's hot. Anyway, so we got heat. This light right there, you see it? It pushed the test. That's the overheat. If the heater overheats, that light will turn on and it'll cut off, but we'll still turn it off and we'll pull the circuit breaker. You see this red collared circuit breaker over here? Yeah. This cabin heat, we'll pull that out to ensure there's no power to the heater. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That covers that. Before you turn the heat on, you need to make sure that you have either the defrost or the cabin air, one of those fully open. Okay. Because the air's got to go somewhere, that hot air. So right now I have the defrost about three quarters open. Uh, you don't open. have either one of them fully open. Well, I don't. You, if you only have one, you need to have it fully open. But we have the defrost three quarters open in the cabin air, which is the front forward cabin air, about three quarters open. So we're good to go. This is the cabin air is the back. The temperature control adjusts the thermostat. Okay. So if you turn it all the way right, it's hot. I have it 50% right now, straight up. I, it doesn't say that though. It says open, close. Yeah. I know. Closed means cool. Open oh. means hot. Okay. 1970s mindsets. Nowadays, it would say, right now, we would it would be saying like 74 right now. Can I press this inflate button for fun? It's not a button. Yeah, it's just a light. It barely illuminates. It's not doing anything. Yeah, it's just a light. It tells you when I inflate and deflate the boots. Oh. So, as you see this winding thing here, that's the Texas-Oklahoma border. Oh, yeah. So, like, these people that are, like, living right here have an Oklahoma address, and they are surrounded by Texas on all three sides. Like a little, little Oklahoma island here. We're Center. Good morning, Envoy 3695, checking in past 11, one for 17,000, assigned 250 knots. Envoy 3695. Alrighty, we're 82 speed, miles speed, away. Speed we're doing 184 speed, knots. Speed 230, Envoy 3695. We're 26 minutes, 26 and a half minutes out. Starting to get close to the north side of Dallas here, so the traffic volume is picking up quite a bit. We currently have 30, 26, contact forward, 2 hours 45 30, minutes of gas, so we'll end up landing with about 30, 2 hours 30, 20 minutes of gas. 30, 26. Life is good there. Been warm and toasty the whole time, the heat's just trucking along, doing its thing. Amy took her almost nap and now she's getting ready for our arrival and two. Mineral Wells, Texas. F not gonna work. How did I do this? 12 o'clock, 10 miles. I'm gonna have to move the yoke. There's no way that's gonna work. Like right now? Well, just in general. It's I didn't, I, I, it wasn't me. It was like turbulence or something. I want my visor. I want a mirror on my visor. So you have I want to this file to happen. A little clip on oh there. no, I know. The visors are coming. Do we get the ATIS yet? We're a bit monitoring guard, like good boys and girls. Weather observation, 
1705 Zulu. Wind 020 at 06. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus 02 Celsius. Dew point minus 11 Celsius. Altimeter 3069. Remarks. Density altitude minus 1600. Mineral Wells Airport. Automated weather observation. 1705 Zulu. Wind. All right, babe. Number 771, Bravo Charlie, contact regional approach 118.1. 118.1, one Bravo Charlie. American 2360, contact. I guess Dallas approach calls himself regional approach now? I don't know. Or maybe that's somebody else. Regional approach to Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is with you level 6500 VFR. Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, regional approach, DFW altimeter 3069, are you on course at this time? 3069 and affirmative, we're on course. What's your destination so I can put it in here? It's uh, Mineral Wells, Mike, Whiskey, Lima. All right, thank you. I'm for it myself. Oh, you know what, I gotta put my jeans on. Right now? November 8th, yeah. Bravo Kilo approach. We're not gonna have time. I mean, I guess we do. Uh, hey, Bravo Kilo, can you reach that thing? I can't even start it down. I'll just do it. It'll be November super fast. November 8th, Bravo Kilo. Okay. If you're not familiar with the antennas I off your right, I suggest you start a climb to at or above 4,000. Okay, Dad, looking for the antenna. Hey, Bravo, kilo. I mean, I'm starting down now, too, just so you know. Going to the back to get changed. Negative <laughs> He's, not, he's, he's on that guy. Oh, yeah. He's outside of six miles. Gotcha. Number 5181 Bravo, contact Fort Worth Center on 127.15. Take care. 127.15. Right. I did not. I was waiting for you to do all the talking. Okay. Pattern altitude is 2,000 feet. Got that locked in. All right, the King Air is now 12:30, about three miles, 1,300 feet above us. In sight. What Bravo Charlie has the King Air in sight. What Bravo Charlie is. What day? You saw it say the uh, bases were. Number one Bravo Blair. Charlie, can't take Fort Worth Center 127.0. Take care. 27 nothing for Fort Worth Center, 1 Bravo Charlie's here. Fort Worth Center, Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, VFR descending through 5,400. 1 Bravo Charlie, Fort Worth Center, the North Lakota 3068. 3068, 1 BC. Can you hold the yoke level? Oh, category 323, come back. On 6 miles, I'm going to make a VFR. Okay, you sure we're climbing and turning. <laughs> yeah, just. Uh, you didn't give it to me like already in, in correct in a correct. You can just tell them we got the well, we like traffic the Cessna 63767 is about seven miles to the northeast, uh, inbound for landing mineral wells. Mineral wells traffic warrior three, Quebec, three mile final, three one, do the uh, low approach pub published mess at mineral wells. Are you on 
Just let them know that we got the fill on site, we can cancel. And approach 1 Bravo Charlie, we have mineral wells on site, we can go ahead and cancel flight following. 1 Bravo Charlie, radio service from 88 o'clock, the fire change advice to the keeper. Thanks, good day. Alright. Mineral Wells traffic, Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie is 11 miles to the northeast, inbound for landing Mineral Wells. Now we're coming down to 2500 now. Mineral Wells traffic, Dr. Uh, Warrior 323, Quebec is short, final runway 35, uh, touch and go midway. Uh, Mineral Wells. There we go, so we have 35 and 31. And correction, that's runway 31 for 3823, Quebec. <laughs> like, man. What are we gonna do here? All right, armrest are up. Here we go. Coming on down to about 2,500. We're uh, eight miles away to the airport. Center of traffic, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie is 6 miles northeast of the field, the overflying midfield entering left downwind runway 31, Mineral Wells. Mineral Wells traffic, Cessna 767, 2 miles to the east, crossing midfield for 31, Mineral Wells. Mineral Wells Traffic Warrior 323 at Quebec is on the go for runway 31, Mineral Wells. Uh, the Cessna that's crossing overhead at Mineral Wells, what altitude are you at? 2,300 descending to pattern altitude, 767, uh, Mineral Wells. Thank you. The twin Cessna has you on the uh, map here. I'm just going to stay a little higher than you since we're faster. Thank you. One Bravo Charlie. Roger that. Thank you. Mineral Wells. Mineral Wells Traffic Warrior Quebec is make a left turn out and climb up to 3,000 feet back to the VOR. We're going to be on like a left down one for 3-1-ish, Mineral Wells. Oh boy. Mineral Wells, Skyhawk, 9800, Papa is taking off from runway 3-1, Mineral Wells. Uh -huh. Mineral Wells, traffic sets on 767, crossing midfield, entering the left down one for 3-1, Mineral Wells. Okay, right, babe, head on a swivel. Uh, there's the guy downwind, which I'll worry about. Altitude's going to deconflict us. Mineral Wells. Oh, there's somebody. Your papa's That's departing from runway 31. Mineral Wells. Somebody else said they were going to go. I see that guy. The guy departing? Uh, uh, like 11. The guy on downwind going that way is the guy I'm following. But where's this other guy? There's another guy that said that he was going to turn. I don't see him. Yeah. And the second aircraft at Mineral Wells that said you're going to the VOR. What's your position now? You're on like a uh, high left cross when we got the Skyhawk on downwind it's say. Okay, I'm the twin Cessna overhead the field now at 2,600. I do not have you in sight. I do have the Cessna on downwind approaching base in sight. Okay, we'll level off here and let you go over us. Okay, thank you. I'm at 2,600. I'll stay here until, uh, until I get to the downwind. Thank you. Sounds good, bud. Mineral Wells traffic sets 767, turning base for 3-1, Mineral Wells. What was he doing? He departed 3-1 and then he was entering... Yeah, he did a little approach. Mineral Wells, Skyhawk 9800, Papa is on the off wind. I'm going to be departing to the east, Mineral Wells. Mineral Wells traffic, uh, Cherokee 33319, 7 miles to the east, maneuvering uh, Mineral Wells. Mineral Wells traffic, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie is turning down, wind runway 3-1, Mineral Wells, number 2. Mineral Wells, uh, Cessna 767 is on short final to 31, full stop, Mineral Wells. It's going to smell like smoke here in a second, but there's no way around it. Hey, we got All the right. sunset on downwind inside, we're not back, man. Hey, thank you much. Mineral well, Skyhawk 9800 Papa, it's 1,800 feet, uh, turning to the east, Mineral Well. Now we smell like a campfire. Man, what are they burning? Mineral Wells traffic, Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie is left base 31 Mineral Wells. Alright, so we got gas, fuels on the main, fuel pumps are on low, undercarriage, three in the green, make sure some props are all set. 
and the preceding arrival is on Mineral the Mineral Wells, Coyote, 9800, the 500, two miles to the east of the field departing today, this last call, Mineral Wells. Mineral Wells, traffic Cessna 767, clear of the active Mineral Wells. Money. Mineral Wells, traffic Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie is turning final, 3-1, Mineral Wells. Alrighty, babe, we got two red, two white, we're on glide slope. Life is good. Three green. Flaps. Walking the power out, we're a little bit high. Four flight just told me we're 500 AGL. I don't know why that came from. Tim 6 m do you need a park, sir? That's Cessna in front of the terminal building, do you read? Yes, sir, looking for parking. Okay, sir, just continue on down and park next to that 182 on the tie downs, please. Roger that, next to the 182. Pitcher, but I'm pretty sure we're going to that hangar. Actually, let's just pull out the pitcher. Oh, it's time for this thing to go. You hear how loud this whining noise is? That's oh. the gyro in there. It's going, but they're going to pull it out. <coughs> Mineral Wells traffic, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie is clear of the active Mineral Wells. I got a picture for this. Hey, Bravo Charlie, uh, you hunting for Aztec, sir? Howdy, um, yep, we're just here for Aztec. Is that over there with that tail dragger? Yeah, that's affirmative. Just make a left right there, and I believe that guy down there on the ramp to park you. Perfecto, thank you. Yes, sir, thank you. Traffic Warrior 323 Quebec. I'll be holding over the mill set via the cable feet guy to work with it. I like it. Perfect. I'll make American right here. Tell you what. Didn't you out, would you, did you? <laughs> he said, you, you looking for Aztec? I couldn't hardly understand what he had said at first. Oh, I understood him. That's mom. She nailed it. She was like, how's it going right when we're touching it? Huh. Oh, the Tundra tires. Are the Tundra tires? Yeah. Any need for those around these parts? Alaska stuff right there, babe. Made it. That was rough. Mission complete. Mineral Wells, Texas. Autopot. Next time we see her, she will treat us right and do all this on her own. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>